Hello friends, welcome back to our exploration of map projections. Today, we are diving into the domain of Bond's map projections, focusing on the unique characteristics and applications of this projection. First of all, let's talk about the origin of Bond's projection. Developed by Rigobert Bond in 1752, this projection is a pseudo-conical map projection that has fascinated cartographers and geographers alike for centuries. Unlike some other map projections, Bond's projection is a conical projection but it is classified as pseudo-conical projection because its central meridian is projected as a straight line. The other meridians, however, are complex curves, concave toward the central meridian, and equally spaced along each parallel. Now, let's delve into its properties. Firstly, it is conformal map projection, meaning it preserves local angles, making it incredibly useful for navigation purposes. Sailors and explorers have relied on this projection for centuries to accurately navigate the seas. Secondly, Bond's projection is a compromise between different projections. It balances distortions in shape, area, distance, and direction, offering a reasonable representation of the Earth's surface. This makes it ideal for a variety of mapping purposes where a balance is needed between these factors. And thirdly, it is an equidistant map projection. Distances are accurate along specific parallels or along the central meridian, making it valuable for measuring distances between points. But, like any other map projection, Bond's projection has its limitations. Distortion increases towards the poles, affecting areas far from the central meridian. This makes it unsuitable for mapping polar regions due to extreme distortion in those areas. Now, let's talk about where Bond's projection shines, its usage and applications. Bond's projection is often utilized for mapping regions with predominantly east-west extents, such as Europe and its adjacent areas. Its compromise between distortions makes it particularly suitable for thematic mapping, navigation charts, and world maps for educational purposes. Whether you're studying geography in the classroom or navigating the high seas, Bond's projection offers a versatile tool for visualizing our world. And that's a wrap on our exploration of Bond's map projection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of maps and geography. Until next time, happy exploring!